Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm gonna be headless because I don't want y'all to see how bad I look anyway, y'all. Let me cut some lights on in here. On. I promise, I think her name is Diva's Mama. Or Diva Mama. I promised her this dressing recipe, y'all. <laughs> and then, like I said, I had that little set back, you know. And then I was going to do it last night, and I got caught up on putting up some Christmas decorations. So I'm going to show you now how I put it together on. I got a bunch of fried cornbread patties, and I left one to show you, you know, just just simply just break it up. Because um, once you put you on, I boiled some chicken livers. I don't like gizzards in mine on. You can put gizzards in it. A lot of people do, but I just don't like gizzards, so I don't put it in it. And then I take some day old bread and I crumble that up in there. Make sure it ain't moldy because it's several days old. I hope y'all's having a good Thanksgiving. Sorry, Diva Mama. At least you'll have it when Christmas rolls around or, or for next year for Thanksgiving. I, I apologize. I, like I said, I just um, had extenuating circumstances. I've um, been having that problem with them um, freezing up. and Then, like I said, I was going to do it last night. But I got caught up putting up on... Um, I got started putting up some of my Christmas decorations on. Um, I hadn't did my own um, tree nor decorated the living room, but um, I did my bedroom and the, um, my tablescape, in which I only did a, a tablescape for two, because honey, my table's so little, um, I couldn't have got on, um, I couldn't have got four place settings on it, no way. So I did a romantic tablescape for two. <laughs> Not that I have a two, <laughs> but it would be me and one of my sons tell you. <laughs> I don't even want to be too right now. Uh, I just uh, make sure there ain't no mold on this bread. I just don't want to get caught back up in that again. Okay. And then I got some um, the pork sausage that you get that's in the plastic round roll. I take that and brown it and drain it on paper towel and be crumbling it up as you're on um, browning it for it to be in small pieces. And then I boil the chicken livers and, and I mash them with a fork. I written this thing's on. <laughs> I written it's recording. I hope it is. And this is some good dressing, y'all. This is old-fashioned dressing, like my mama used to make it. And then I got a bunch of... Normally, I do my onions and celery by hand, but uh, since I've had that, uh, that little problem with my hand freezing up, um, I did it with my little mini food processor. And just add that. Add all that to the mixture. That's a lot of flavor right there. A lot of flavor. I gotta wonder about somebody that don't like on um, homemade stuffing. Ain't y'all? I should have. <laughs> I'm fixing to say something mean, but I should have known. Something was wrong with my husband when, they, when I found out he didn't. And this is the broth that I boiled the chicken livers in. When he told me he didn't know he didn't eat stuffing or dressing rather. It's stuffing if you're going to put it in the bird. And uh, it's dressing if you want to bake it in the pan. And I'm going to bake it in the pan because, um, like I said, I'm going to my... My son's fiance's on grandma's house and 
they're doing the turkey and everything else. Okay, and then I add lots of sage. I mean, if you don't, if you don't like sage, don't add a lot. But add some, cause on, uh, you're going. That's where you're gonna get a lot of your flavor from. So I add a, a good amount. And then I add some poultry seasoning. Okay, let's see how this is looking. And you generally what I do, oh, I hope I don't knock y'all over my arm. Let me move it. Okay. Generally what I do is use this here chopper because oh, sorry y'all, I got the lean on. <laughs> I use this chopper to make sure that cornbread and bread is broke up in there good. Because everything else is broke up in there good on. It's chopped good. I think I'm going to need the rest of my um I don't like to put too much because I don't like it too wet that's why I like to add little bits at the time you know to make sure that on that I don't get it too um too soggy I don't like it soggy on um. normally I like to bake it in the um well I'm gonna bake a pan of um and my cast iron skillet Cause that'll give you a, a nice crust on it. Oh, I can't chop with that hand because it's wanting to freeze up. But that'll give you a nice crust on your own, on your dressing. And then stir it around, making sure that you've got everything at the bottom chopped up good. And I'm glad I did because there's some hunts that ain't chopped up there. <laughs> I'm wanting to switch hands, but I know if I do that, that right when the lock up on. Oh, y'all, this smells so good. Let's get us some salt in here. And which you salt and pepper your own. Your water when you're boiling your livers. But I also want to add some more salt. But I don't want to get it too salty because I don't You can always add salt on. But you can't take it out. So... I'd rather have something not salty enough than too salty. It's so dark over here in this little corner. I know y'all say I can't see nothing you're doing, woman. Now here's the thing that makes it extra, extra special. It don't add any flavor, but I don't like corn. Peel looking on. I like my food to look good and taste good. So I put some of this on this yellow food coloring in here. Give it a little color. And I made just a little more bro. Try to lay down on the counter while I'm stirring it. <laughs> I need more on. 
more food cooling. Cause like I said, that's what I'm, that's what gives it that rich color. Oh, and I don't want it on the counter hot. Hold on, y'all. You let that mess sit, it'll sit on there and you won't be able to get it off. Okay. A little bit more of this juice. If I was making giblet gravy, I would even put the on. I even put the on coloring in my gravy because I want it to be yellow too. I'm just, I'm just like that. I want it to. On. Oops, <laughs> I'm making a mess. I got to get my hands in here, y'all. Let me wash them good. Folios having good Thanksgiving so far. Okay, now we got it to the consistency we wanted. Oh Lord, honey, I'm destroying this young food coming over work. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to get that off that counter. I know it's low to stay, get stuck on there. Who in here making a mess? Okay, we got some pretty cornbread dressing. Okay, now we got our own cast iron skillet all down with some on Crisco vegetable oil. Let me see if I can move y'all back a little bit. Oh, now all you can see is me, Lord have mercy. Okay, I'll move the pan up some. Spoon it into our pan. Oh, <laughs> I'm just off a load of something. I forgot to boil. Some people put the eggs in there raw, but I don't. I boil them and put them in. The, my youngins is going to talk junk. Well, I'm sorry, but it's meat stuff and I forgot. Normally, I'll boil about three or four eggs and chop them up and put it in there after I get it meat stuff good. But this is going to have to do. They'll be all right. And here's the the way it looks. And <laughs> I can't stay on here till it gets done because it's going to take you about 30 minutes. But um, like I said, Diva Mama, I'm sorry I didn't get it to you on time for you. Thanksgiving meal, but maybe you'll get to try it for Christmas. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Bye-bye.